Hello there. My name is Eric Zuko. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to uh, talk about the uh, tools and materials that I use when I'm painting. This is an oil painting on cradle canvas. This uh, cradle canvas is 16 by 16 and uh, I love cradle canvas. I've been working on this painting for about six days. Uh, I bought this at Cindy's Art Meet here in Fairfield, Iowa. If you're in Southeast Iowa and you're in need for art supplies, check out Sydney's Art Beat on the square. It's on the north side of the square. I have uh, have to use gloves, rag, magnifying glasses. They're uh, duo monochromes. These are the brushes I used. This is a Princeton, a uh, Dakota Princeton, number eight, 6300R. Uh, my uh, paint brushes are like knives in the kitchen. These are like my chef knives. This is the big boy, number 10, connoisseur. Again, I bought white tackling round. This is my favorite brush. It's just that you can go pretty big to real fine. Uh, and it's just the, the hairs on this brush are really, really nice. I like these brushes. I think these red brushes are like a step down from this black brush, but I find that these red connoisseur brushes, their hairs are more refined. This is uh, another brush I bought at Cindy's. And this is a brush I bought when I was doing ink uh, drawings. So I've it's crossed over to uh, oil painting. On to the Gam saw. Uh, no affiliates here. Uh, Gamblin. I'll put a link in the de uh, description. Um, I basically keep three different Gam saw containers going, just as I do uh, with well when I'm doing. Uh, acrylics or water colors I keep at least three jars of water you know just to you give like a brush one wash and then you so I have real dirty water or well white water a little gray water and then I try to keep the tin as clear as possible Gamsol is high in price but you know but if you know how to use it and learn how to stretch it uh, and not throw it out. I recycle a lot of my damn saw. I'm using linseed oil. Again, this is the good stuff. I usually go to the hardware store and get the big old cans of linseed oil. So this is really nice, this Gamblin refined linseed oil. And then this is a new uh, thing I've been using. I wanna say ingredient. And this is very simply a mix of uh, an oily substance, I'll call it, and actual gam saw. So it is almost like a, a syrupy consistent, sticky. So you, the ratio is like four parts paint to one part, uh, let's see, solvent free fluid. I'm using, I'll talk about paint for a second. <laughs> can't, I'm laughing because I can't read that. That's Mars Black M. Graham paints. Awesome paints. They're made with um, walnut oil. So I have walnut oil, linseed oil, Gamsol, and a solvent-free fluid, which is like an oil and Gamsol mix. These are the uh, brushes I use. Brushes to me in painting are a lot like knives in the kitchen, like, as far as their size and utility. I'm using gloves. You don't want to get oil paint in your skin. 
If you get oil paint in your skin, it could get in your bloodstream eventually, and that's no good. Okay, we got uh, Nag Champa going, and then some stones that I got in New Mexico. Uh, this is for anxiety, and this is for just like good, like grounding earth energy. I forget the name of it, but it's man made. It's so beautiful, and it, it reminds me of like an Incan period. Pyramid, pyramid, sorry. You know that, uh, but these are man-made, and so uh, when you hold these, you can kind of feel like this, like dense energy. Uh, very interesting. So I'll, I'll hold these a little bit before I start painting. Okay, so that's it, guys. If you watch to the end, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Are you painting with oil? Are you a painter? Are you a lover of art? Are you afraid of working with oil? A lot of people are afraid of working with oil. I know I was. So if you're afraid of oil, get at it. You just gotta start. You can start with white and black like I'm doing here. No wrong answers. If you make a mistake, you can go over it later. You could take a paper towel, a, 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 you know, uh, a rag and, and wipe it off. I have to go back over this a lot, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, editing I have to do, but you work into it and then you kick back, back off, work into it, back off, okay, have a great day, I would love for you to subscribe, if you got anything from this, please hit the like uh, button and have a great day.